it is lack of finance because as you probably know old people I'm sexy, I'm afraid. Money's going other ways. And again, there's not as much money out there as there used to be. It was about four or five years ago the market fell. So there's not the same money out there. The increasing cost of keeping clubs like these and other similar things going. And obviously this was going to have an adverse effect on so many elderly citizens. We're just going to stand outside. We're back for the housing and, and living rents are delivering. So today we um, we went into the to see the management of this uh, housing association in White Inch, Scotstown. We gave uh, gave Ian Morrison, the manager, um, a letter which detailed uh, what the residents want, what they want to see implemented. Um, we just need to present you with this. I'm a member of Living Rent. All right, right. So we've come to present you to this today on behalf of Living Rent members, okay. and also on behalf of the White Inch residents for yourself. Mm -hmm. Alright, okay. so for you, right. have to hold on to. Uh, obviously the members are all outside, quite a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Don't know if you want to come out and maybe talk to them or you want to engage with them. How many of them? I don't know, there's maybe a good... Bring it on! 80, 100. Yeah. So these are tenants? Yeah, these are tenants, yeah. Who's robbing us? Who's in? Request a meeting with yourself as well, so it does That's detail that in the letter. Right, yeah. Discuss the various actions and instances yeah. for services. Yeah, happy to do that. You're more than happy to do that. So when you get around the table and just kind of... Yes, Don't know if you want to, you know, the evening times, you maybe comment to them. Yes, I have. Yeah, we're good. Thanks, have a great, good to you come out and talk to the residents. Living Rent have been asked to come down to support the local residents who have obviously had a number of issues with yourself. A number of uh, residents have been given ASBOs and banning orders from coming in to the office here. Which is obviously Highly regular, I cannot say. Well, um, no, that's, that's something that we talk about, and we'd be happy to have the meeting as, uh, well, yeah. as, as been offered, and we'll have a, a meeting about that. When, when, so I'm not when, talking about that. No, 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 when, when, so when, when, when can we have this meeting? We will have, I'll go in and sort my diary out with you just now. Monday? And get that sorted out. Get some residents together. Need to, check, need to check my diary. We'd also also encourage as well that the Glasgow Housing Association and Mary Hill Housing Association have absorbed the cuts into their budget right, and kept these services running. Um, with regard to the common room and laundry, it's, there was no decision made about closing or anything. Oh, wait a minute, that's like there's, 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 no, there's no decision. Mm -hmm. If you guys still take the decision, fair enough. We have. We there's, no, there's no decision. We have. We there's, there's no decision. We have. We would encourage, obviously, that these asbos that people have been getting for being, you know, the, for going through people's Facebooks and things, we'd encourage that to order to build better relationship with the residents who are obviously quite angry that they are rescinded in some kind of normality. We're, we're, the, first of all, they're not asbos. Uh, and I'm not going to talk about them in the public arena. I wouldn't do that. So, so we we'll maybe discuss that on, could we, on could we Tuesday. Could we also have to protect the confidentiality of the people to whom these were issued, because I'm they were quite serious matters. Right. Uh -huh. They were serious matters. We, we wouldn't have done it otherwise. Yeah, but we're, we're, we're not discuss that here just now. We're not, no, we're not no, that confidentiality because they're own members we're, as well. We'll, we'll discuss the principles of it when we have a meeting. Not in the public arena. Could you come back with? whether or not they have their own housing support or whether they have to buy it in because that's I mean, quite key. Yeah. The, the biggest barrier is finance because um, we do have almost 2,000 volunteers across Glasgow who run the clubs but for the day centres you need a wee bit specialised, you need staff that have been trained and you can bring in volunteers but it's still us taking part and them taking part and working together. There's, there's, no, there's no decision. There's, there's no decision. Two different emails. The decision to close the common room was made. Could you tell? Could you tell us? Well, not at the moment, we have a meeting well, we can tell you. Because we don't believe our management committee has made a decision on the common room. So there is nothing in it. So, I think... Right. right. Well, there might, there might be a miscommunication here then, Deborah, so we need to clarify that. More there than happy to give you all the information the tenants have been given to date about the funding cuts. Can I do we've, given, we've given you the information. Just chat them. Can we arrange a meeting? Thanks, folks. And we also gave him a big petition, which is kind of more a symbolic thing. Maybe he can hang on his wall. I don't know. He probably won't.
yet to discuss the future of the common rooms and make a decision. But we're happy to have a chat with the organisers of this protest to find out where the misinformation has come from. Misinformation? Yeah. We're concentrating primarily on the cessation of housing support to the vulnerable tenants within both complexes who are not currently in the care system. As I said, we've talked about isolation and loneliness. Well, for the 37 years I've been with the charity, but now the government is starting to recognise that isolation and loneliness is a very, very serious thing in old people because it can lead to onset dementia. We have some people that come to the centres who have the start of dementia, but because they're coming to a centre and they're taking part in things and they're surrounded by people, it's helping them, it's delaying it a bit, but it's something that is going to be very big in Britain soon is dementia. It's going to be a big, big illness, as bad as cancer. Um, we want to know how they're going to be supported once these funding cuts are in place. So is the money going to be discussing the future of... We'll have to, yes. We will have to discuss what we do. So is it, is it um, financial difficulty right now, keeping them open? No, it's, it's the, the whole safety and insurance aspects, etc. once there's no staff on site. As you can understand, once the staff go, once the funding cuts hit and the staff go, it's, it's a completely different scenario as to how these um, complexes can be kept safe and secure, but at the same time offer a facility. Okay. You guys are hiring for another 45 grand to your post. Yes, but which, that's, which is that's, that's not, that's not, no, that's that's not, I understand, uh -huh. what, 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 what do you I'll explain, explain that to you when you come in. But just trying to... Just same principle here, it's not new money, it's not additional money, it's using... That's fine, but that's... Oh, so, so there's nothing added to... Obviously, we're, we're looking to try and get the best outcome for the 80 as, or 100 so tenants that are outside at the moment. Well, we're, we're trying to get the best outcome for 1,300 tenants, like, so we've got to... Well, we'll I know it's so. for everyone, you know. Okay, we can understand the friction and tension that is called, that they can amuse this cow, or what, what do you treat this as? Are you treating as news, gossip, rumours? What, is, what, is, what are the people reacting to? Them? I think it's we need to get to the solid. bottom of where the misinformation is coming from and, and I'm sure our meeting with our, the gentleman here will sort yeah. this out. Thank you. Craig, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Tuesday 11 or 2.30? No. 2.30? Yeah. Okay. Tuesday 2.30. Right. So obviously just before we go, we just want to say, you know, I know you talk about the email stuff, we've seen sight of them. So we can discuss well, that. Show that's me what emails are That's fine, we can certainly do that. Right, well, we'll meet you on Tuesday then. That's we'll excellent. Yeah. Have to do that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you on Tuesday. Bye. Hi. You're filming already. There you go, can you see me in the house? Aye, great, man. I do, I do. See you later. Aye. See you later. So here we are, everyone's hanging in the parliament. And it doesn't matter what way the election vote goes, people are still getting shafted off of landlords. So you're going to have to get involved, get active, get out there, report your back. <laughs>